Hey there folks, this is an old uh, Toyota Hi-Ace automatic transmission it was given to me for autopsy. Uh, one of V8 Jagnut's friends by the name of Feasel <laughs> had this sitting in his garden for so long he got sick of looking at it and gave it to me to find out what happened. That's how I got the nickname Garden Gnome. It's standing on its end like a garden gnome in the middle of the plant. And I did that around here for a little while too. I've had it for a few months. So I figure it's time to uh, tear it to bits and just see what really happened inside. This is uh, blown up. I've got the torque converter outside for it as well. I'll cut that open and show you what they look like. They're pretty cool little gizmo. Well, this little gizmo on the side here looks like a uh, oil pressure switch. I'm guessing it tells the driver that the transmission is screwed when it runs out of oil. That's all the oil level things seem to do in cars. By the time a light, light comes on, it's too late. And this thing here is the transmission shift position sensor. Depending on where this shaft is. So park, neutral, port, or reverse, and then 1, 2, and 3, or 3, three 2, 1. This will uh, indicate to the electronics and the dashboard readout just what gear you're in and yeah, something like that. Pretty crude. Okay, well, there have been a few pieces pillaged from this one. The uh, filter body and everything's missing. There's one tube there. I don't know where the other one went. There's screws and things floating around inside everywhere. But that's the main valve body in there. I think that's pump. Not too sure on this one. That's come off. I'm not an auto trans expert, I just want to see what's actually broken in this. It's been cooked. It's probably as bad as the Jaguar transmission I've got there according to uh, Brad, V8 Jagnut. That thing there is in very sorry shape. Oil's about the same colour too. So I'll pull this valve block off and see what it looks like. Okay, well that's the main control block off. See the different valves and pistons in there. Hmm. Three pistons by the look of it. Two. Things have been cooked. Smells very burnt. That's your gear selector. That all works together. Hmm. Piston. They probably for fluid pumping. Okay, well that's the back end off it. Well, obviously that's the output shaft. That's your uh, speedo drive gear and drive worm. And this is an oil supply tube for the main rear bearing, which is a plane bearing. You see it in there. It's got little grooves cut in it for oil. Still in pretty good nick. It's not scored out or damaged. But that's the main rear bearing. And this thing here is a speed governor of sorts. I know because my... Uh, Dad's L300 Mitsubishi minivan has the same sort of arrangement. I remember him giving me one of these as scrap because he left it in first gear too long while he was revving it up. I think he over revved it in first gear, forgot to shift and well spun the guts of this thing out and destroyed it. So that's a go 
governor assembly. I'll probably take that one off and keep it as a spare. Okay, well I'm under the L300 at the moment. And sure enough, that's the same transmission. Exactly the same. And I happen to know that the oil in this one looks nasty. So this will probably be my next autopsy. If not the engine on this thing, it's probably done half a million kilometres. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. The L300s normally blow up before then. But I'll keep the governor as a spare just in case. Maybe a few other bits if they're still intact. But that's the same auto, plus the transmission cooler on it. You can see the two lines coming off. And that's the van. Horrible to drive, but God, they seem to last a long time, or at least this one does. I know not many people like them, but they do work. You can see the fluid passageways for this governor here. This is what governs the automatic shifting. If this thing fails, the transmission will stick in gear. Uh, that's what happened to my dad's van when he over-revved it. It got stuck and wouldn't shift out of first. Luckily he was in town when it did it, so he can get it fixed straight away. Oh, Jesus is coming apart now. Must be the uh, input shaft. Part of it anyway. Nice little needle roller bearing. I think this cylinder here will come out. It's all part of that assembly. It's just stuck. And those are the clutch discs. The little tabs there interlock with these fingers. I can turn the shaft that way, it doesn't do anything, but I turn it the other way. And the one-way clutches and planetary gears kick in. I'd say the only thing that's wrong with this is that the bloody clutch material's worn out. And she's just cooked herself from... Okay, the bell housing's gone. This is the bush that fits into the bell housing for the input shaft. Well, no, that's the input shaft. Torque converter sits onto there. This one here fits onto here. It's got its own little set of clutch packs in there. They'll all come out. Still got good bearings in it. This one here. It drives the torque converter. Well, the centre of the torque converter anyway. There's a fixed side and a moving side. Okay, this is the one that drives the centre of the torque converter. You can see that's not actually a bearing. It's a one-way clutch type arrangement. These little feet lock in in one direction and slip in the other. Just so that it only turns one way. There are little bits and pieces. Not really much use unless you know exactly what you're looking at. I mean, I'm not an auto trans expert, so I don't know. Planetary gears. In there. Still some useful bits for the home hobbyist. You get yourself an old auto trans. Plus they're just fascinating to look at. So many little bits. Okay, this is the first clutch pack opened up. The shaft passes through the centre of this on the input side. I'm not sure whether this is first or third. But you can still see writing on the clutch material. It's not degraded. Everything seems to be pretty good. This side's the same. I can still see markings from the manufacturer. A little spring clip in there. There's a lot of little springs. Tensioning it. 